Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah, wa ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> In the name of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Messenger of Allah. May peace and blessings be upon all of you. Welcome back to the features. All my homies and haters and family and foes and everybody. Everybody, welcome. What I'm gonna, you're all welcome. You are all welcome. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> we don't discriminate here. No problem. No problem. It's all love here, baby. It's all love. <laughs> Today we have our esteemed brother Bilal Bennett, Kaif Haddock. How are you doing, bro? Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah. Khairan for having me. Um, Alhamdulillah, man. I've been following you, following you since you kind of first jumped back out there and uh, right. got on this thing. And um, exactly. you know, when I started to see the trajectory that mm -hmm. you were going in, the direction that you were going in, what you were specifically, when you kind of let it unfold, because you let it unfold really slowly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. you were very <laughs> meticulous about yeah, the process. Gradual, gradual. And, and, and when I see what was unfolding, I said, mashallah, okay, alhamdulillah, I gotta, you know, get with this brother. And, you know, I contacted you and we got in contact and alhamdulillah, it was good. It was good. Because then I, after that, that first initial contact, I seen that you were real. Exactly. You, you were, you were sincere. Exactly. Exactly. And this is what we need. This yes. is what we need. You know, sincerity. Yes. yes. And, and, you know, the, I mean, you know, we, the thing is, is that in Islam, Ikhlas is something that is talked about, but we should always try to be perfecting it. Yes. You understand? It's something like of an exercise. And you're not going to perfect it without humility. You know, you have to be humble. You always have to humble yourself and admit when you're wrong or admit your mistakes. And you know what I mean? This is the, the, the foundation of having ikhlas, you know, like try to be since like try to be humble you know what i mean no no you know? i would i, you know what I mean will. so uh me me i always if anybody pr shows me that i have a mistake and i made a mistake and i know for sure yes this is a mistake and i'm convinced and i will not hesitate to say that i'm wrong you know i've done it so many times even in public on my my channel and you know, and, and what you see on my channel is pretty much how I am. And like, you probably know this already. Like, it's how I am <laughs> in real life. It's like, it's what you see is what you get. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, mashallah. It's like, you know, I'm not, it's not an act. Like, I'm really like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> you know. But alhamdulillah, you know. And, you know, it's like um, after experiencing so much with um, all the stuff that we've seen as most, all the, insanity you know yes. you have to make a choice you can either be going with the crowd or you're going to you know follow exactly what you see written in the quran you know what you what you read written in the quran and how the prophet says and how he uh emulated his nice. life you know and this is this it's something that we should all be strive striving for see the thing about humility is mm -hmm. it is a inner thing Yes. And, and, and this inner journey mm -hmm. it is so much more greater than the outer journey. Yeah. And this, I'm not talking about any esoteric Sufi, you know, yeah. I'm just saying the inner journey to change, yes. the inner journey of change is so much more difficult than the outer journey. Yeah. Because what it calls for you to do is to be a third person outside observer of yourself. Yeah. And, and and this is what is this is what is hard. And and then if you're gonna have friends, you have to surround yourself with the right type of people who are going to and you know advise you and give you the nasiha. Because mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says, "Al maru ala dini khalili." 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. So he says that a person is on the, 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 the dean of their friends. Yeah. So we have to examine mm. thoroughly who we who make we our friends, friends in yeah. order because our friendships, they should, our relationships should make us better. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, here on the features, we don't look for cheerleaders, man. We, <laughs> we, we take the criticism, the haters, and the, we take everybody, you know what I mean? Because it's all, you know, sometimes you're, if some, you know, a lot of times when you have haters, it's sometimes, it's sometimes like a big portion of time, yeah, it's like a lot of jealousy or, or, you know, hassad, but every once in a while, they're telling you the truth about <laughs> yourself. You I'm understand? Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? So you have to take it all. You, you know, you have to take the good with the bad. You do. And, you, and if you're not, if you're not in constantly growing and improving yourself and learning, then really like what you're doing is wasting a whole bunch of time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, so, yes. But JazakAllah I, I appreciate that, man. I, I, yeah. yeah. So we brought you on today because we have uh another convert profile right and we want you to tell your story tell your where you're from you know how you became muslim and you also have okay. some very interesting stories <laughs> you know from yourself directly yes right yes yes about, about uh yeah uh, you know some experiences that you had with racism yes. and and whatnot people that i dealt with yeah yes exactly yeah. and we want to share this because that's what we do here right we we yeah. tackle white supremacy head on and racism head on and we don't we don't hold pull no punches man we do it like we do it for real you know we're, right, and we're about building here and and you know you know basically power moves <laughs> you know so yes. and all of this Absolutely. is related right so Absolutely. i will let you speak i will let you have the floor yeah. and bismillah go <laughs> Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala la ashraf al anbiya'i wal mursaleen. Alhamdulillah, I became Muslim uh, over 24 years ago, alhamdulillah. And I was first introduced to Islam while I was in the Navy. Mm. Um, uh, I was in the Navy and one of my shipmates, a person we were, we were actually dry docked on um we were we were on the donald b berry mm -hmm. and it was a fast a frigate it was a, 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 a ancillary ship that did legal ops off the coast of the atlantic mm -hmm. so um it was dry docked in staten island uh in new york uh, right outside of new york uh in and we were there for about a year and a half so when you're dry dock that means that the ship is being it's in dock to be repaired mm. um so this young man who who was on the ship mm -hmm. um he 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 was muslim mm -hmm. come to find out later on that he was more along the nation side mm. so uh there was also another, we had a translator in, 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 in an Iraqi uh, translator, mm -hmm. because this was right around the time with the, during the Iraq war in the first one, number one. And we had a, a translator and, and me and him got kind of close and, and we talked a lot. And he felt that I was a, 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 a good Christian, a good person who's Christian that needed to be a Muslim and he felt that I, and I felt that he was a good Muslim that needed to come on over to the side of Christianity. Yeah, so yeah. we were dialoguing with one another and giving each other dawah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he mentioned a, a verse in in the Quran, um, and I think it was Anbiya thirty. Mm -hmm. It says something to the fact, "Awalam yaraladina kafaru." that didn't they see don't they don't uh, didn't they if only if the the uh, kufar can see that the sky and the art the land and earth the, the the land and the earth the sky and the earth were one and we uh, separated them with great power 
So I, I, I asked him several times, you know, and, and it was just about, I was short on short time too at the time. I think I had about a, uh, maybe nine months. And I just continued that, where's that from? And he kept saying, this is from the Quran. I said, you know, who, you know, who did it, who wrote it, where did it come from? So after that, it just led me, I was intrigued. Mm -hmm. I was very intrigued. So it just led me to uh, do more studying, to commit to studying. Mm -hmm. So then I started to, you know, really, really dive deep into the Bible. I would, um, <laughs> when I got out, I, I came to, I'm from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was raised between Milwaukee and Chicago. Mm. So, but when I got out of the military, I went to Houston, Texas. Mm. And uh, I was on a, I was a bus driver there. Mm. So anybody who rode the bus in, in the late 90s, they would tell you, well, there was this guy, this bus driver, he used to ride around with a Quran and a Bible while I was driving. <laughs> yeah, why, I, why I <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and, and I was just really, really trying to get it and, and, and understand it. So uh, then I, I started to ask, you know, people questions mm. um, in, in particular, just to you, you more about Hagar, mm. uh, you, you know, uh, uh, the, the mother of Ismail, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to get that story straight. And, and I wanted to, you know, why do things go so in so much in the opposite direction after the, you know, after the Old Testament, you know, you got like the first commandment is thou should not have any other gods. Mm. Now, if you ask a hundred Christians that, what is the first commandment? They wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. It, it, the, the, the majority of them would not know. Yes. Then they, the they, always goes, they always go to um, thou shall not murder. It, they, shall it, not, it, exactly. Murder. They remember that. That's exactly. It. But the first, exactly. not, not just the first commandment, but the second commandment is both, the, both, both of them are directly dealing with Tawid itself. Exactly. Thou shall not worship any, any graven images. Images. They are made of stone or wood. Yes. Blah, so all the way up to the end of it yeah <laughs> right so you know I, when i started to see this it, those two things in particular and 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 the third thing that hit me is that jesus i, I had uh found out got some information about the fast in ramadan mm -hmm. and uh, i knew that jesus he had fasted for 40 days and for 40 nights so i made the connection mm -hmm. and then when he came out of the forest after he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights Satan said, if thou art hungry, why don't you change these rocks into to bread, these mm -hmm. stones into bread? Yeah. He said, and does not liveth by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So he said a lot of things, but what he did in particular that got me, he took Jesus, Isa bin Mariam, up to the highest point in Galilee, which mm -hmm. as I said, he said a lot of things. But one of the things, the most pertinent things he said, he said, if you forsake God and bow down to me, mm. I will give you all that you see in front of your face. Mm. And Isa bin Maryam, he said, it does not belong to you or to me, but mm. to God in heaven. And I shall never forsake my God in heaven. Mm. That right there kind of, it just, it, it, sl it, it slammed it home for me. It, it, yeah. And so at that point, it was... I was there mm -hmm. at that point. I was there. So, um, I was, I was kind of, you know, like I said, I was, I was working, driving a bus mm -hmm. and, um, I just, I happened to met a, meet a, a, uh, guy who was doing some construction work in, in my apartments. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really, really contemplating about making this decision. And I was in, 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 you know, just contemplate to the you know, deep reflection. Yeah, yeah. So one day I was out there sitting on the, I was just sitting on the curb and he was patching up a hole that was in the driveway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he kind of looked over at me and it seemed that I was in deep reflection. And um, he said, Hey, what's, what's wrong with you? And, you know, I said, well, you know, um, you know, I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, not knowing which direction to really take my life. Should I go back to school? Blase this and blase that. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, Lo and behold, he was a Muslim. Mm. 
Mm. And he said, this is what you need right here, bro. And he started to give me the principles of Islam. And he said, you need to take your shahada. You, I, I, I feel that you, and I was like, what? Okay, what's that? What do I do? What? And so he explained, and I said, I'm ready. Wow, mashallah. <laughs> and he, he said, you know, your name should be Bilal because yeah. Bilal, heard, when he heard it, he accepted it. He yeah, said, and the same with you. Yeah. And I said, well, that does come with a precursor because I did do a lot of research and yeah. I read prior to this point now, but now I'm just sitting here thinking about, do I really want to pull the trigger? Because yeah. you know, you're going to get a lot of blowback. Of course. Family, of course, coming yes. from a family that doesn't understand, a family that is from Georgia. Because- oh, they're Bible Belt. Absolutely. A part of that Bible Belt, man. Yeah. And, and the law says. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been in there where people been catching tongues, catching oh, sticks, yeah. ghosts. Yep, yep. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm talking about, about fat women falling out on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh man, <laughs> that Holy Ghost, man. <laughs> yeah. Once you get it, boy. What? <laughs> so you know, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, it'll be out of me, man. Um, it, it was, it was. Uh, then I, I, I took my shahada, and and every since then I just been on that 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 journey to learn. Um, I, I moved to uh, Dallas, Texas. Mm where again, I started to drive the bus and, and I was a Muslim at that time. Alhamdulillah, me. So I start, I moved close to the, 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 the uh, Richardson Masjid in, in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So my, my family, um, uh, they, they accepted, they, they, they accepted and they did. Mm -hmm. You know, it it was hard to get them to understand. Hey, I'm I just I don't eat you know because we used to, they <laughs> love pork. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. We, we love pork chops. You know, yeah. the breakfast pork chops. I was <laughs> you know, but this is this is just what we did. So, um, you know, when I decided when I decided to move to to Dallas, you know, I'm, I'm fast forwarding. Uh, I decided to move to Dallas. Uh, I, I started hanging out with some brothers that were that were very uh, uh, they were on the path of of seeking ilm. They were they were definitely trying to to traveling, acquire knowledge. Traveling knowledge, yeah. And traveling, so, right? Yeah. Traveling, traveling. So I knew that. Mm -hmm. they, they, well, they we weren't tra they weren't traveling at the time, but we were traveling within the city of Dallas, going to this masjid, going to that masjid, going to listen you. to this person speak, going to listen. To, going to Houston, to Texas Dawa conference. And we were doing these type of things. Mm -hmm. We were really involved in, in trying to learn and trying mm -hmm. to learn. Uh, who and, who was um, in, in Dallas at that time? There's, was it Jab Mama Jabali was out there? J Jab yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. He yeah. was there in Arlington. Yeah. In, uh, yeah, it was in Arlington. Yeah, well, that's all that. So, Alhamdulillah, so, uh, Rabbi Now, he was here for about, a, I think, about two years. Uh -huh. And then when he left, I mean, and th there was a it, there was a split mm. again, you know, some of the things that you discuss about yeah. people be that cultish, um, um, uh, those cultish personalities yep. or people, you know, that you, 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 you totally into shakhsiya yep. and into to, to personality. But they don't, they don't call it shakhsiya, mind you. You, absolutely you can't accuse them of being involved in shaksia because no don't do that don't, don't do, do that. that no because they're upon the hut <laughs> we're upon the hut we're upon the hut we so <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, and um, you know, so we were on that mission, man. We we were trying to learn. Uh, we were going and reading the books from, mm -hmm. from that 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 were advised to us. You know, Kitab al Tawheed, mm -hmm. uh, the set. We were reading yeah, the yeah. set. Sulu Kulatha, Sulu Kulatha, Kitab al Tawheed, Waterfall, yeah, Kashmir Shubhat, Kashmir Shubhat, yep, yep, yep. 
Yeah, so alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, we we were on it. We were reading it, trying to memorize it. Mm -hmm. I remember it was uh, it was very hard for me just to remember memorize the first uh, 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 line of Kuwaid mm -hmm. uh, Arba. Uh, Kuwaid Arba. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it took me forever. Yeah. So, but alhamdulillah, um, we we were on that mission because we wanted to know. You know, we wanted to make sure that we were coming from a perspective where the the information was authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted that because yeah. I see things where the information was not authentic. Of course. Uh, we, we, we lived in an area in Dallas where there was a lot of people from different Jamaats, mm -hmm. people who you like to go out and, and they would go out for on trips from three days to 40 days to four right. months. They, they would do these things and they were yeah. always inviting and they had a lot of power yeah. within this community. Yeah, so, the league. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, it's, it's the same everywhere, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, even in, in Toronto, it's the same thing. It's the same. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, I, Jamal league was the one that showed me that. Since we met you people 500 years ago, look at us. We've given everything. You are still taking. It's true. I mean, where will the whole Western world be without B? Without Africa, our cocoa, our timber, our gold, our diamonds, our platinum, our whatever. Everything you are is us. I am not saying it. It's a fact. And, and in, in return for all of this, what have we got? Nothing anti-personnel indoctrination against ourselves if you go and cook your horrible diseases like AIDS you say it is us you brought us tuberculosis we didn't have this big cough until white people came here in exchange for in exchange for Africa given Europe 500 solid years of our people, I mean, not Europe, the Western world, of our human beings to work your canes, to dig your gold, to take in gold itself, diamond, I mean, you know, fish, peanuts, palm oil, everything. In exchange for that, we have got nothing. Nothing. And you know it. Nothing. And you look upon you know, so white folks look upon us like monkeys. It is true. It's in your literature. Hey, you know, some of your best thinkers have said this about us. Have you heard of the, I mean, all these Germans? Have you heard? Okay. Yes. <laughs> they said, Lord Burton, yes. people like that, they said, we, we, we don't even have the brain of, of animals. That's what we've got from you people. But don't you think that this is over now? Over where? Is it over? Who said that AIDS came from the green monkey? <laughs>